Hi, I'm Blair Gilbert, here from MrHardware.com and Gilbert's Pro Hardware in St. Clair Shores, here to show you how to blow out a sprinkler system with too small of an air compressor. With a small air compressor, the trick is this, do it two or three times per zone. The other good thing about waiting for the compressor to come back up to speed is the water in my plumbing out in the yard is settling back into its low point. This is simple. It's relatively cheap. It's under $10 for the parts. The small 2.6 gallon air compressor, typically for blowing out sprinkler systems and water lines, it is too small of a capacity. I like to have a larger tank so when I blow out a line, it's like coughing. <clears throat> you have more volume of air to blow the lines clean. So with a small air compressor, the trick is this. Do it two or three times per zone. Watch the heads. When you do it, you'll see when the water is fairly coming out, that's when you know that you got the lines clean. My compressor is charged up full charge, 100 pounds. My air connector, I put it on, and now I am blowing out the system. Okay. I blew out the system one time. My air compressor started at 100 PSI. When I did this, it quickly, because it only has a little tank, it quickly went down to 40 pounds. I disconnect the air hose, I let it build back up to 100 PSI, and now I can do it again. saw that head slowly went back down into the body as we ran out of compressed air. So as soon as it starts going down, you don't have enough air to evacuate the water out of the system. Stop. Let the compressor build back up the pressure. Disconnect your hose. And I'm going to do this three, four, I could do it five times. I'm going to do it as many times until when that head comes up, all I see is a tiny bit of mist of water come out. The other good thing about waiting for the compressor to come back up to speed is the water in my plumbing out in the yard is settling back into its low point. So once the water settles in the low point, I come back to 100 pounds. I juice it again with the air. I get that water that's settled and that water gets pushed to the heads and I get that water out. So that's why I have to do it three, four times because I'm blowing it out, I'm letting the water settle and I'm blowing that water out again Seeing as I have a small lunged air compressor, I do this more times than if I had my big 15 gallon tank compressor. So here it is, my fourth time. Very, very little mist coming out of the head. I am now comfortable that my system is now winterized. Whenever you blow out a sprinkler line or a water line, you need several things. You need an adapter that goes from your air compressor to a pipe thread. Then you need to go from that pipe thread to either a garden hose thread so I can thread on to a hose bib on the house. This consists of an adapter and you gotta get an adapter to a pipe thread. So that requires typically a bushing. So this is air hose to 3 8 pipe. This is a bushing that goes from 3 8 pipe to half inch pipe. This is a bushing that goes from half inch pipe to garden hose. Teflon tape, we put these three together we screw it onto the house or to a hose bib on a sprinkling system, put the air in and we can blow it out. This is simple, it's relatively cheap, it's under $10 for the parts. So there it is. Small compressor, do the system multiple times so you just get missed. System safe for the winter time. Just another quick tip from MrHardware.com.